we're looking at our patient's left leg. Muscles of the knee, the quadriceps, the ones we think about first, they're the four muscles on the front of the thigh. Uh, there's four muscles, um, the vastus medialis that runs along the inside, the vastus intermedius and rectus femoris that run down the middle, and the vastus lateralis, which runs along the outside. And they all four come to connect at the quadriceps tendon into the kneecap or the patella. If we have patty flex, you can see the outline of these muscles as they run down into the um, patella. The kneecap itself is a bone. It's actually inside of the tendon. Um, and it's fairly mobile when the quads are relaxed. At the bottom of the kneecap is where the patellar tendon starts and it runs down the tibia to the tibial tubercle here. A little bit closer look at the knee here. We'll talk about some of the different areas that can um, be injured or you might have pain in. Remember the quads all come down and attach into the patella and you can see a little bit better the outline of the patella here. And if you're poking around on your own knee, you can really feel that patellar tendon kind of stick out, especially when your knee's bent. And again, it runs right, this kind of bump on the front of the tibia called the tibial tubercle. And the patellar tendon runs between the distal end of the, t of the patella, so the bottom part of the patella to the tibial tubercle. And it's about 30 millimeters wide, so it's not real wide. Um, find the edges of the patella here and you move out to the sides and you'll feel bones right out here and that's actually the edges of the femur called the lateral and medial epicondyles. It's kind of the edges of the, the femur here and there's um, muscle attachments in that area as well. Follow that down just a little bit farther and you'll feel where the knee kind of it kind of dimples in a little bit. You feel the bone kind of drop off. And that area right across there, that's the joint line. So that's where the, the joint line where the femur and the tibia kind of meet. This is really important um, when we talk about knee pain because pain in this area right through here, especially if you get it back towards the back, is very common with meniscus tears. So you may have pain in these areas here if you've torn your meniscus. Just below the joint line, we run into the tibia, and that's, again, the, the big bone in the front of the leg, um, and you'll feel that tibia, and then it will kind of drop down a little bit, and the tibia is kind of plateaus and flat at the top. Uh, farther down on either side, um, around on the outside, you can feel the fibula and the fibular head right here. The hamstring, one of the hamstrings attaches there as well as the IT band coming down from the outside of the leg. And then on the inside, just below the joint line in the plateau of the tibia, this is what we call the pes anserine bursa. And there's several tendons that attach here as well, coming from the medial side of the knee. Um, the semitendinosus of the hamstrings, the gracilis, um, and then there's also a, a bursa sac there. So pes anserine bursitis, if you have that, then you're gonna be sore in this area here. The ligaments of the knee, there's four ligaments, um, two collateral ligaments on the outsides of the knee, and then the two cruciate ligaments that are actually inside the joint. On the outside of the leg is the lateral collateral ligament, and if you find the joint line, remember that's kind of where the, the knee kind of dimples in, and you run around towards the outside, that's where your lateral collateral ligament is. And it's not really common to have a isolated sprain of that ligament um, with sports activities. The medial collateral ligament though, it's very common to injure and again find that joint line space there where the knee kind of dimples in and then right out on the outside between the two bones that's where the medial collateral ligament is and it's a fairly wide and long ligament. It starts up here at that epicondyle of the femur and runs down the edge to here so pain in this area right through here, tenderness to the touch that's what you're going to have if you've sprained that medial collateral ligament. The anterior cruciate and posterior cruciate, they crisscross inside the knee um, and you can't actually touch them or palpate over the top of those um, ligaments.